Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read here for you guys. I hope you're enjoying your day. And let's get right into it. What's going on with Pisces? Urus, Urus. Hmm. So now, <clears throat> Pisces Urus is talking about. Uh, well, it usually means missed or not, missed out on something, uh, missed opportunity or something. But we we really can't put everything together yet until I get all the runes out. Okay, what's going on with Pisces? It was. Death rune. This is the death rune. And just like with tarot, uh, the death rune is, is very, very positive. Um, this is talking about... Um, this is talking about um, something new starting. Something new is starting, Pisces. Iwas, Iwas, hmm. Iwas talks about not trusting something or not trusting someone. Huh. Interesting. Zeus. Hmm. You know what? I'm kind of like looking at this here, Pisces. Um, not really completely sure, but this is something about a job, right? This is something about your career or a job, maybe a new job. Yeah. <clears throat> something you don't trust about it. Well, let's see. Well, let's dig more about this. Dig into this and see what's going on. L has in reverse. So this is insecurity. This is feeling insecure. All right, you're, what, what the deal is here, maybe this could be like some new job here starting. And uh, there's something about it you don't trust because you're afraid you're going to lose something. Yeah. See, here it is over here with, uh, with L has. Maybe you're afraid you're going to lose something if you if you take this new job on. Um, I don't know. You're, if you do take the job on Pisces, for sure, you're going to be losing out on some of your own free time. That's for sure. Huh. <clears throat> Maybe they have something to do with that. Uh, you're afraid you're going to lose out on something. What's going on with Pisces? Hmm, Isa. Isa. Isa is, represents ice, and ice is slow energy, but uh, also um, can't really tell yet. I have to get the other runes. Um, 
But Iza is, um, is a precursor to victory, Pisces. Put on for Pisces. Hmm. And we have Wang Yu. Wang Yu. Wang Yu means happiness and joy. You know, th this also is cancer energy. You could be dealing with somebody that has cancer in their chart. Um, but this could be somebody that's very happy to employ you. I think this is something about a job, and I think that maybe you're afraid if you take this new start, um, you're gonna miss, you're gonna lose out on something, something like that. What else is going on here with Pisces? Nothies, nothies, huh? So this is, uh, hmm. oh yeah, yeah. This person here, whoever this person is with cancer in their chart, this person's lacking somebody. They're lacking somebody. Yeah. And, you know, this is also going to take um, a little bit of time, Pisces, if you decide to go for this, because uh, there's things that you need to learn, too. There's possibly some training involved here as well. Because see, I see not these. But this person is lacking somebody. This person's lacking, you know, probably and then somebody to work for them. Um, yeah. It looks like a good deal if that's what it is. I'm going to pull some tarot cards, but uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a <clears throat> like definitely a good deal. What else is going on with Pisces? The blank rune. Yeah, so you know, Pisces, this um, the blank rune is, you know, this is our, this is our energy. This is our choice. Nothing set in stone, but, um, you know, I feel that, you know, there's something here that you could be afraid that you could uh, be losing. All right. Hmm. Let's get some, uh, let's get some uh, tarot cards out and see what else is going on. Oh, Pisces. <clears throat> so you got the four of swords. You know, Pisces. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking right here at uh, Uru's right here. All right. So now Uru's is also talking about being kind of like exhausted. So some of you are very tired. And I also see Iza over here too, all right? The Four of Swords here is saying, you know, get, please get some rest, get some rest. Because you're really tired and you need your rest so you can think right and you can figure out whether you want to take this job or not. Um, whoever I'm reading this for, but yeah. This is definitely uh, whoever I'm reading this for is uh, um, for energy. The energy I'm picking up is something with a job. What else? And then you have the Hierophant. And see, this is the problem here that you have in your head, Pisces, because so you see, this is going to be a long, this is a commitment. This is like a this is a commitment. This is a long-term commitment. So um, it's not like something that you want to just, um, you can't just hop into this thing and then just say, ah, sorry, you know, this is a commitment. And um, it, it will lead to security and stability. It will. Because, you know, I've been re getting, you know, your past few readings, you know, like I kind of felt, you know, maybe 
well, like yesterday's reading, I didn't really feel like um, there was a lot of money. Uh, and, you know, and I also felt that some of you guys were looking for work. Because we got on Zeus on our birthday runes on, on March 15th to March 20th and from February 19th to February 27th. So, you know, for those of you that are looking for work, you know, this person over here is more than happy to, to hire you, but it's going to take a commitment on your part. It's going to take a little bit of time to work things out, and there's going to be some training involved. Um, yeah. Maybe some of you are getting a small disability uh, check or something, and you're afraid you might lose that, but... Um, but to be honest with you, with the higher front here, if that's the case, whoever this is for, it, this higher front is talking about, um, you know, long-term stability. So, what else is going on with Pisces? And I would rather have that than some small little check. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, Pisces. So you get the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah. So this is stability. This is uh, financial stability. Um, and this is what you're aiming for, Pisces. And you're right here. At the You know, Isa is the precursor to victory. So now it's up to you. You have the blank rune. It's up to you to whether you're going to... Um, go for this or not all right but get some rest that's very important so you have a very clear mind and you know um you know you don't want to make a decision um hastily because like i said this is a, a commitment yeah so that's what i see here uh with the cards and that let's pull um a moonology card Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Right. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. Surrender to the divine. So, you know, I just kind of like feel like if you get some sleep, uh, uh, you know, sleep on it. Get some sleep and think about it. Yeah. Maybe you should pull one more. What else is going on with Pisces? Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Wow. So, you know, this is looking really good, Pisces, honestly. I, I feel that you don't trust this. You know, you don't trust this. Um... Yeah, you're afraid you're going to lose something, but, you know, just uh, surrender to the divine, get some sleep on it. And um, and I feel that whatever whatever is going to go on here, you're going to have some sort of a powerful change. All right. I can already feel the weird energy because of this last full moon. So <clears throat> we're going to have some some big changes coming all right yeah i like that all right you guys let's get into the birthday runes here all right now i gotta find the birthday runes here they are <laughs> well here's one of them so pisces if you're born february 19th uh to um february 27th so low is your rune, all right? Now, if you're born February 28th to March 14th, Tiwaz is your rune, all right? And if you're born uh, March 15th to March 20th, Barkana is your rune, all right? So anyhow, let's put these over here. 
and let's get into it. I'm going to pull some runes out here. Um, let's switch it up. Uh, last time I, I used these runes for, um, Kiwa. So I'm going to use these runes for Solo today. These are one of my favorite runes here, these. I only have one set. And they're kind of expensive, so I didn't want to buy two at a time. I'm gonna, <laughs> they're very expensive, actually, but I don't know. Oh, Pisces. Hmm. On Zeus again. Wow. I can't make that up. <laughs> On Zeus again. So it, here we go about this job thing here, Pisces. This is on Zeus right here. All right. So definitely good news about a job. It's just now up to you whether you're going to take it or not. Because you got the plank rune here. So yeah. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Let's get. Uh, if you can't see that, can you guys see that? Yeah, I guess maybe you can see those. You know, I got to pull these cards out because um, that's really small. Some of you may not even be able to see that, but I know that you won't be able to see the blue ones. The blue ones are like next to impossible to see. Let me see here. Where the heck? Where the heck is it? Didn't I just have one Zeus here? Hang on, Pisces. Uh, let me look again. If I can't find it, then I can't find it, but I can hold that up to the, I can hold this, this, uh, rune up to the, um, camera. Yeah, it looks to me like I misplaced that one. It's probably floating around here somewhere, you know, I have kind of like limited space, but I know it's around here somewhere. <laughs> This is what Anzus looks like. I, I pulled it out yesterday, so it can't be far. But yeah, see? So definitely um, good news coming about a job for sure. All right, let's pull out one of these, one of these warm runes. That's weird how Anzus just uh, disappeared like that. Maybe it fell on the ground when I was shuffling, but I don't see it. Weird. What's going on with Pisces born February 19th to February 27th? There. Wow. You know, wow. This is, this is awesome. This is the very first rune here. This is the, called Beh. And this is like new beginnings. I mean, it's like, um, it's really super positive. It's like one of the most positive runes in the whole set. So, I mean, Pisces, go for it. Let me see here. I'm going to tell you what it says here. This is the birch tree. Okay. And uh, so do the meaning is mostly associated with joyful blessings. So look at this, joyful blessings. Uh, birth, relationship, work, a new phase of life, etc. So this is talking about a new way of life at work. <laughs> it's also talking about creativity and cleanliness. And remember, change can sometimes be uncomfortable and challenging. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is kind of feeling uncomfortable. This is uncomfortable feeling. And so is this. Yeah, because, you know, you're feeling a little bit, you know, yeah, it's uncomfortable. Now is the perfect time to get ready for the change and transformation ahead. What can you do to prefer prepare yourself for upcoming changes? Wow. <laughs> so I like that. That's very, very, very good. Let's grab a let's grab a angel card here. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces?
Ease and grace. Ease and grace. That's a that's a good one. Let's let's read and see what that says. Ease and grace. Oh, well, I'm getting close. Ease and grace. Your message. This is a time to learn to adapt. To learn and adapt. This is learning right here. Yeah. You are being guided to slow down and take your time. Oh, look at this. Isa. Isa is telling you to slow down. Yeah. Wow. Take time. To slow down and take your time. Take in the current moment and allow space for events to occur. You often put too much pressure and expression on yourself. See, look at this. Right there. <laughs> and this is not required. Also, with constant effort and rush, you'll find yourself becoming overwhelmed and tired. See? And you need to get your rest. You got the uh, Four of Swords. See? When you are too forceful, you use up too much energy that may hinder your progress at this time. If you are in a difficult situation at work or with other people, don't feel led that you have to prove your skills, talents, or worth. Just step back and breathe. And through grace, you will be seen, understood, recognized for who you truly are. So I really like that. Really good read. Really good read. <laughs> positive, positive, positive. So, yeah, take your time, Pisces. Take your time. Think about it. You know, I don't. I think. I don't think that this uh, um, person here is going to be lacking. You know, it looks like he's going to be lacking for a while. So it looks like you got a while to take your time on. Um, yeah, just step back and and go with the flow. Don't. Push yourself to where you, um, I always do that to myself and it sucks. I don't know why I do that, but yeah. Don't push yourself too, um, too hard. Don't, don't jump and make yourself overwhelmed. All right. Main thing. And oh, by the way, I did find, uh, on Zeus. There's on Zeus. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, the next birthday rune here, Pisces, is is Tiwaz. All right, Tiwaz. So now Tiwaz is for Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. So let's see what's going on with Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. I'm going to use these really heavy glass, glass ones here. I haven't used these in ages. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? Actually, I think these are the very first runes I ever I ever had. They're pretty old. What's going on with Pisces? They're one of the first runes I've ever had. I don't know if it's them or not. Maybe the second rune. We got Jera. Jera. Let me get the card here because. <laughs> It is very hard to see. Thank goodness I have these cards, you guys. Uh, but anyway, I'll let you know what Jarrah's talking about while I'm looking for it. Jarrah's talking about... Um, Jarrah is Virgo energy, but Jarrah's talking about um, balance, okay? Balancing things out. Finding balance. Um, there he is right there, Jarrah. Yeah, see how it's kind of balanced out? Yeah. And Jera is also talking about a, a sudden breakthrough. Like, you know, if you've been like, you know, really struggling for quite some time, um, Jera gives you the promise of that breaking through. All right. So it's very, very, very good. Good news. So that's could also pertain to this. Huh. 
What else is going on here with Pisces? Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. Doer, doer. Well, I like doer. I'll put that right there, doer. Let's check it out and see what it's talking about. Okay, let me see here. Here it is, doer. So, Pisces, this is the oak tree. Right? And the meaning of this is uh, strength, safety, flexibility, endurance, wisdom, sacred places, leadership, and kindness. All right, so this is awesome. All your hard work and training have paid off. You look majestic and strong, just like oak. You are an efficient and for you are in an efficient and fortunate situation in terms of family work financial situation, creativity, and relationships. And this will continue for a while. Believe in yourself. Also, oak represents the immense energy and force of storms and wind. It symbolizes endurance that will improve you and make you more resilient. Wow, and look at Jera right there. That's awesome. Yeah, very, very good uh, good read for, for everybody so far. I, I'm, I'm really liking it. <laughs> it's a good read for everybody. This is not a bad reading. It just, you know, you're a little bit uncomfortable here about this, you know, so something's uncomfortable, but what's going on with Pisces? Looks like somebody's going to, going to go for it. Just don't take your time and don't overextend yourself. Come on, Pisces. Romance and connection. Wow. So, like I said, like what Dewar said, Dewar said, um, you are. Duh, 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 duh. You are in an efficient and fortunate situation in terms of family, work, financial situation, creativity, and relationships. See, and then look at this. Romance and connection. So let's see what that's talking about. Like that. Romance and connection. All right. <clears throat> Your message. Angels of romance are swirling around your life at this time, unleashing a positive, uplifting, and heartfelt express experiences to remind you that love is real. Allowing yourself to be romanced to receive and experience a true connection is important at this time. It is likely that your heart space is opening up and any barriers or shields that have been in place are falling away. If you find yourself scared or uptight about romance, know that this is not only a sign that you would like to experience it, but also that it is something that your energy system really needs. Your angel guides are guiding you to being seen, to being seeing yourself as loving and deserving of love. Know that you have much goodness and light to offer others and the world. You are also being encouraged to know that the world wants to see you, to know you, and to understand your heart. All this is only possible with your permission. Why not give it a try? Wow. So, you know, Pisces, there's the blank room right there. It's only with your permission. Yeah. Well, I like that. Let's get into the next uh, birthday here. Find T was. 
And I just had that doggone thing here. Oh, no, that was t was Yeah, Barcona. My bad. All right. <laughs> All right, Pisces. So now if you're born March 15th to March 20th, Barcona is your rune. All right. So let's see what's going on here with Pisces that is born um, March 15th to March 20th. Hadjulez. Ooh, Hadjulez. Well, you know, um, Pisces, Hadjalez means shock, okay? So something shocking is going to happen, okay? And um, from what I can see, it's going to be a good shocking, okay? But it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Well, let's get, uh, let's get one of these rune cards out here. What else is going on with Pisces, born March 15th to March 20th? Hedgelis is kind of like the Tower card, except, you know, the Tower card isn't always bad, and neither is Hedgelis. Or, or... See, and this isn't bad either. Or is a very good run. Let's see what Or says. It's not on this one, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? No, that's on. My poor book is falling apart. <laughs> okay, here we go. Or. All right, so this is the spindle tree Pisces. All right, now um, the meaning of this is abundance, creativity, and honoring the family and loved ones and community. So this is a good Hadjalez. All right, something shocking is going to happen. It's going to be a little bit uh, uncomfortable, but it's going to it's going to be very good. Or represents a celebration of abundance and creativity, or and create and creative potential in our lives and in the importance of sharing this with our community. Spindle tree is a symbol of wealth and abundance. This card expresses our ability to create abundance by using our creativity, talents, and our, create, and our capacity to share this abundance with our loved ones and the community. Also, it emphasizes the importance of strengthening family and community ties and honoring these relationships. So, yeah. It doesn't really seem too bad. I mean, you've got some abundance for sure. What's going on with Pisces? It's just that this abundance that comes in, I feel, is going to be kind of shocking to you, for you guys. What else is going on with Pisces? Born March 15th to March 20th. No. No. So, well, I guess, you know, no is no. No means no. If you're asking a question whether it's yes or no, I guess the answer is no. Let's read it in the book and see what it says. I've only got that card a couple of times. Your angels are drawing close at this time to help you recognize that the answer to the question on your mind is no. This is not a time to this is not the time to proceed. You may want to, but are be encouraged to see beyond the current situation and understand that following through on your ideas may have a negative may have a negative effect 
on the whole course of your life. Angels are swooping in because they want to save the day and save you a lot of heartache from a choice that is not heart-centered. If you're feeling upset or annoyed by this guidance, it's okay. You are allowed to have emotional an emotional response. But in truth, there will be a part of you that already knows that you are considering that what you are considering isn't the best use of your energy. Wow. So that's that's kind of deep. Well, there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, if you guys haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces, see you tomorrow. Bye for now.